Today, we're going to unravel the mystery behind plumbing vents and how they work. So buckle up, because we're diving into a secret world of plumbing vents. As many of you know, I own Leak Pro in Richardson, Texas. It is a 40-year business, and since the relocation, we've been using Jobber for over six months. The business was a mess on paper in the beginning. We had to come up with a way to keep the business running straight and payments easy for our customers. We found out that Jobber was the perfect tool to help accelerate our business with all of its features. Sending out quotes and receiving payments were a breeze to set up and get the business rolling quick. We have it tied to our books for tracking costs and things. It immediately impacted how smooth the operation of the business became. I think it helped my customers with all of the options for payments and modifying quotes. I know that Jobber will be keeping my business running smooth for a long time ahead, and I would recommend this tool to any home service business out there that can use this tool to their business advantage. Now, let's break down the basics. Plumbing vents are like the unsung heroes of your home, quietly keeping your drains flowing and your nose happy. So what do plumbing vents do? Well, they have two main jobs. They allow sewer gases to escape your home, keeping your living space smelling fresh and clean. They also help equalize air pressure in your drainage system, ensuring that water flows smoothly through your pipes. Now, let's imagine this balloon is a pipe filled with water. When I release the air, the water would flow smoothly through the pipe, right? But if the pipe was completely sealed off, the water couldn't escape. If it was completely sealed off, the water would struggle to flow due to the air pressure. That's where plumbing vents come in. Plumbing vents are like the lungs of your home, breathing in and out to keep everything running smoothly. So let's show some love for these unsung heroes by learning more about them. We're up on the roof where most vents poke out. Take a deep breath and you can almost feel the vents working their magic. Oh God, that stinks. Here's a cool fact for you. Plumbing vents also help prevent water from being siphoned out of your fixtures P traps. This little bend in your pipe keeps a small amount of water trapped creating a barrier against sewer gases. Now, if the air pressure isn't balanced, this water can be sucked out, allowing those pesky gases to enter your home. But with a well-functioning vent system, that won't happen. Plumbing vents work tirelessly day and night to keep your home smelling great and your pipes flowing. So, the next time you flush, take a moment to appreciate the little heroes of your plumbing system. So let's take a look behind the walls and show you what vents really look like. Now, these can lead to problems later because the vents go all the way through the roof. The video that we did about the smoke test, you can actually see because we put smoke in down at the two-way clean out in the front yard. It went all the way through the house, all the way through the sewer system, and then came out the roof. That's what we have to call the fire department. We don't want them to come out just because we're doing a test. But let's take a look at these. So this is the vent that actually goes up through the roof. Now, here's what happens. A lot of times, birds, squirrels, just little critters, stuff like that. Birds will build nests in here or they'll actually climb in. With those little critters, learning came second. We have actually gone in a house before to clean out an inch and a half drain arm and there was a dead bird in it. So what happens is they come down and they're just looking for a way out at that point. The two inch line going down, I don't know why they didn't just go down, but maybe it was wet. They climbed over in the trap arm and I was able to actually get them out with a small sewer machine. But if this fit clogs, it can actually cause gurgling. It can cause the drain not to work quite as well. And also, it's not gonna let these sewer gases go out. Now, it's probably not gonna hurt on one vent unless your traps get dry. If you use your sink not very often, say it waits a week or two and your house is kind of warm, that water in the trap can evaporate and dry out. Then what happens since the sewer gas can't go out through the roof, it goes back up through the P-trap and back up into your sink. This is something that 
you know, if you start having problems, you start hearing gurgling, you start getting sewer gas smells, this is always something that we look at. Now, on a toilet, it's a little different. You still got the vent in the wall, but your P-trap is actually in the toilet itself. Again, as this gets clogged and doesn't let this air down, it can affect the way your toilet flushes, how well it actually carries that waste out. Now, it's not a major deal. Normally, you'll see, yeah, it's gurgling, it's doing something, but it'll still normally flush. But if you've got a big load in the bowl and it's not flushing at 100% efficiency, it could cause you to get a clog in there. So keeping your vents cleared is a big deal. As you saw in the video, everything goes out very smoothly, but if you clog these up, the sewer gas smell is not gonna go out as easy and toilets don't dry out that often, but lavatories, bathtubs, things like that do. So if you've got a sewer gas smell in one of these rooms that you don't use often, the very first thing that I recommend, just run water in the sink, flush the toilet, fill up the tub, whatever it is, do what you need to do to get those traps full and probably your problem can go away. So if you're a plumber or a homeowner that's ever had to call a plumber, and really what they had to do was clean out your vents on your roof, do me a favor, leave me a comment down below and let me know what kind of problems have you seen, what kind of problems have you had, or if you're a plumber, what kind of problems have you solved? Did you get up there and run an entire cable down? Did you just run a tape, a snake, anything like that? What did you run down it to clear it out? And did that take care of the problem for good? So as you see from the smoke test video, when we put smoke in down at the two-way clean house, it came out every vent on the roof. So think about this. If you've got a P-trap that's dry and your neighbor has really stinky sewer problems, guess what? It's liable to end up coming in through your two-way clean out up just like that smoke did. That two-way clean out feeds out to the main where this main sewer is. So whatever's in there, if you don't have full traps, you're not isolating yourself from those smells. That's why having a good vent system and if you have problems, checking it out to begin with may be a great way to go. And that's a wrap on plumbing vents. We've had fun, learned some facts, and shared the love for our trusty vents. If you enjoyed this adventure into the world of plumbing and know a friend that needs to see this, be sure to share this video with them. Until next time, I'm Roger Wakefield, your friendly neighborhood plumber. I gotta go.